hello guys welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness youtube channel uh on today's episode we'll be looking at a very very vital topic in oil palm production we are going to be looking at uh nutrient deficiency and fertilizer management in oil palm production so uh, as we all know it nutrient and fertilizer they are one of the basic things needed by any plant and oil palm without being an exception oil palm also need nutrients to grow and also to produce optimally so whenever there is an there is a deficiency in a major nutrient uh, the plants will suffer and there will be a kind of low productivity and in most cases there will be no production if care is not taken so uh we're going to be looking at the nutrients that is uh, required by the oil palm itself so oil palm oil palm have some major and minor nutrients that are required just like any other plant but in most cases uh, the major ones are the one i'll be talking about in this video uh, oil palm have need for nitrogen as expected uh, potassium uh, phosphorus and uh, magnesium then boron so these are the four major uh, nutrients essential nutrients uh, needed by the oil palm to produce optimally it also have some minor like sulfur and all the other things but all those ones they are trace elements they are the ones that are needed in trace uh, quantities so um we'll be looking at it from the perspective of somebody who wants to do business the essence of you applying fertilizer is because you want to supply your plant with nutrients nutrients that are not available in the soil so that they will produce optimally so nutrients fertilizer is an input now if you apply too much that means your cost of production will be increasing if you are applying too less that means your production your output will suffer for it and one thing about oil palm is that uh, the result of your fertilizer application is usually seen after a year or even two years ago so which means if you notice a drastic drop in productivity in production this year that means trace your step back two years ago you've suffered the trees with nutrients they don't have access to nutrients and which makes it very very hard to make a uh, correction it takes time so there are two ways by which uh, you can settle for fertilizer application in oil palm farming it's either you want to go by the uh, process of soil testing to know the type of nutrient that is available in your soil and to know to what extent are they available so as for you to formulate your home fertilizer regime that is by the side another way which is very very common is the blanket type since you know the type of nutrient that is required by your plant is just for you you just go to the market you buy a compound fertilizer fertilizer that will be compounded that contains major uh, type of this nutrient together or you can buy them individually and mix and then you apply to your uh, to your plant so the advantage of the first one is that uh, it's it helps you to save some kind of cost so imagine you are having potassium in your in your soil is abundant then you be able to know that okay you will not be buying potassium at all in your fertilizer regime uh, but many farmers don't go that route we just prefer to just buy compound fertilizer and apply any which way you are you are following just make sure you are applying the right type of fertilizer and you are applying at the right time then you are applying the right quantity these are the three most important things you have to notice in fertilizer application so how do we apply fertilizer in oil palm so uh in uh old trees in mature trees let me just put it down you apply fertilizer at the beginning of the rainy season to avoid leaching or uh what the washing away of the fertilizer and fertilizer is usually applied you, you it's either you apply it once a year in your plantation some you can apply it uh, twice in a year but there is a, a a new findings a new research that is that has shown that applying fertilizer in a batch of like three 
to four times in a year. Dividing the portion you want to apply once in a year, dividing it into four, and you apply it every three, three months, or you apply it every four, four months, uh, is, has been shown to show, has been shown to have a, a better impact on productivity. It's a new research, actually. So, uh, at every stage of oil palm farming, uh, the quantity that is required by the tree uh, differs. Uh, in trees that are less than a year old, uh, the quantity is usually uh, about 0 0.2, 0 0.2 kg, which is about 200 grams per pound. So uh, if you are using a compounded fertilizer, which is the MPK MG 121217, uh, that is the uh, commonest type of fertilizer being used in oil palm farming. So that means you'll be applying only 200 gram per, plant, per palm. So when they are at uh, two years, three years, the quantity will also uh, increase. So, but when they reach to reach about five years, so the quantity will reduce, uh, will increase to two kg per palm. Because at that time, they've started production and you also need to improve, to increase the, the nutrient available to them. Because there's no two way to it. Uh, the nutrient available to plant have a direct impact on how they will be productive at the end of the day. So uh, fertilizer application is not just done. You don't just take your fertilizer and you just dump it at the base of the tree. Uh, there's something we call ring weeding. Ring weeding is done around the circle area. You have to keep it very, very clean. And the fertilizer will be spread around this area, not closely to the base. You have to make sure you, you have a distance, some distance, like one meter to meet two meters, according to the age of the tree again. So that is only that way the tree will have uh, access to the fertilizer. They will be able to tap it uh, uh, very well. So those are the ways by which uh, you can apply fertilizer. So uh, nutrient deficiency. Oil palm shows deficiency in uh, nutrients in so many ways. For example, if you notice a drastic, a drastic uh, uh, drop in your oil palm uh, tree, the way at which the trees are producing drop drastically, that is a direct indication that is telling you that you don't have potassium. You don't have potassium. So in some and in some cases whereby you are seeing uh, a kind of withering. Uh, a kind of dull and pale color of the uh, of the front that is telling you uh, nitrogen. I have a video about uh, how uh, plants communicate by the changes of color according to the nutrient that is lacking on this video. You can look out for that video. It will help you uh, to go a long way in uh, diagnosing, diagnosing uh, the type of nutrient that is lacking. So basically, this is, these are the things you need to know about uh, fertilizer application in the oil palm family. So it, uh, it goes a long way. And if you want to promote high productivity, high production in your oil palm farm, if you plant the hybrid and there's no nutrient, the hybrid will not perform. So if you want to promote high productivity, you have to manage your fertilizer very well, manage your nutrient very well on your farm. And lastly but not the least, you don't apply fertilizer to an unweeded palm. You have to make sure the ring weeded area is well weeded before you apply fertilizer so as to ensure that you are not wasting your fertilizer at the end of the day. With this, I've come to the end of today's topic and I hope uh, you got value one way or the other from this video. Uh, if you actually got value from this video, kindly give it a like, share with your friends so that the message can get across to so many people as much as possible. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, my name is Lawa Lushawa Lawa. I'm an agri consultant, and this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. So uh, kindly click on the subscribe button to have access to more of my videos. Thank you for your time, and see you on the next one. Shishi.